Hey, Jason. Let me know if you can hear me fine before we get started. Um, we're going to explore Neutron 4, hopefully. Um, I'll be able to show you guys how it works. At least uh, this is first time for me. Jason, cool to see you here. Let me know if you can hear me fine. So uh, we're gonna get started real, real soon. I'm gonna just go and see what's up with Neutron 4. And I really hope uh, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna wait for more folks. Gonna just share this uh, live stream on Facebook so um, more people join. Otherwise, it's gonna be just me and Jason here. This is just spontaneous uh, on the spot. I thought it was gonna be fun to just get a few things going here. just got just got the word that neutron 4 is out and to be <coughs> to be perfectly honest never used neutron officially on mixes or anything i do have the elements i do have the isotope uh, um, ozone for mastering but i never used um you know neutron as a system for mixing and i'm really excited about this because there have been um you know a lot of talk about this and about artificial intelligence taking over uh, how we do mixing and i actually believe that it can be a good thing i mean getting started with something and then tweaking things as long as you understand the basics of mixing this is not going to really replace uh, proper education and proper knowledge of what exactly you're doing if you're you're not sure what an eq compressor uh, does what the the function of a limiter what's the use of uh, um, exciters and things like that your mix is going to be uh, just a hidden miss going to be random and i i guess uh, like anything else you need to master if you know how to produce music that's fine if you don't know how to mix but if you want to produce your music and mix you better learn the tools i believe that uh, once you understand the concepts and you experiment with things, you get better at that, you'll get better mixes. And uh, so going to get started again in, um, in just a few more moments, going to wait for some more folks to join us and see how it goes. So um, again, Jason, uh, really appreciate you joining here. Uh, I'm guessing there's going to be a lot of... Uh, um, a lot of uh, hype and a lot of talk about neutron neutron 4 and i'm gonna oh, i'm gonna get my coffee here and we're going to get started in uh, let's say in one minute or so 
so uh, i'm gonna leave you guys with the music just a bit more and we'll get started <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get started, uh, even if we don't have a lot of people, I'm guessing people will join as we go, and I'm going to repeat more, so I'm going to try and look at the, um, at the chat, so if you have any questions or anything, let me know, I'll try to answer. So, what I've got here is a, is a demo project that I have, it's a, it, you know, it's a song I'm using a lot to demonstrate plugins and techniques so we have the main vocal that's how it sounds i'm gonna go uh, back here just uh, so we can get the uh, you know the start of it I know you're broken. and i actually I don't have anything broken. any plugins anywhere except just uh, yeah, a slight you know reverb for the vocals uh, but uh, that's pretty much it <laughs> you know that's it so what I'm going to do right away is show you guys the two modes that we have two views. We have this view. This is the sort of mothership. This is where you can click the plus and get uh, the different elements. So when we are mixing, there are a few components that repeat themselves. We have EQs, equalizers, to um, shape the frequencies that we have. If we want to um, augment anything, we want to... Uh, push pull whatever we want to do and we'll get to that that's an EQ we have two compressors and why is it that we have two compressors? why, why not uh, just one so you can actually put them uh, in a sequence sometimes it it makes sense to do uh, a more gentle compression twice than very hard compression uh, right away in, in one go uh, we have an exciter, we have a gate, we have sculptor, which I'm going to show you. We have transient shaper and we have the unmask. I think the unmask is new to Neutron 4, right? So that's, uh, that's a new thing. And what I'm going to show you is how we can unmask uh, frequencies. For example, if we have the main vocals and then we uh, also have the back vocals, um, we would like to have the main vocal on top shine not over uh, sort of buried with the back vocal so that's uh, the idea there and so we'll get into that in a moment so that's what we have on this very first kind of view there's nothing here we have soft saturation that we can apply here in the eq if you just go into any of those uh, and we'll get there you can uh, select the type of uh, shelves uh, or sorry the, the type of filters that we have things like that so that's uh, that's basically it and so next what we can do is go into our assistant view so let's run assistant view immediately it tells me like i mean it's very similar to ozone i guess it tells me hey play audio and get started so we're gonna do that and in the pieces Laying broken on the floor But you put them back together every time before I know it's like your world is just caved in And every single prayer just So what just happened? What we have here right now, it's th this is a sort of a tone match curve And it detected, okay, we have programs here and forgive me all the 
veteran users of Neutron, uh, you know, people that actually use this, use Neutron 3. This is all new to me. I'm, you know, completely new. This is the first time actually using Neutron. So this is also something which is new. And we have the different programs here. And then we have sort of a recommended curve and we are trying to match that. So right now we, we detected that this is voice and we have two options. We have two programs. We have the vocals and dialogue. So if that was uh, like uh, a tutorial, maybe a podcast, anything like that, I would select dialogue if it wasn't really selected, but it did a good job here. And uh, so um, uh, we can then do the tone match. How much would you like to shape the uh the um your signal your audio into the recommended curve and what is also very very uh, important is that you can use reference so you can add your own audio uh, or sample stems whatever as a target library right so if you're mixing something and i remember i had uh, somebody wanted me to mix uh, their vocals to sound uh, like a particular um, uh, singer and uh, you know I had to sort of get there and analyze and see how can I get my you know that singer into the other so that that's kind of challenging but here we can click that plus and load something I don't have anything right now but we'll we'll get the idea so let's uh, let's continue But baby, there is beauty in the making. But what else do we have on this uh, uh, assistant view? So we have three modules. We have the um, we have the punch, we have distort, and we have width. So the punch is uh, is a compressor expander, and you can see how it works. And we have attack and sustain. To see you know how how fast it reacts to our audio and the sustain and so we can compress more or maybe expand have more dynamics less dynamics and then we have the distort to add some grit and it actually uh, it's a dual module we have the, uh, the I mean this harmonic uh, you know this harmonic thing here uh, i'm just looking for the uh the right term so it's a classic harmonic distortion uh, but we also have trash so if you know isotope you know that they they actually have uh, the plugin trash which is a distortion plugin so they edit this one here and it will actually distort very uh i mean it will trash and so no don't go Love you. Baby, there is beauty in the making so no don't go up. You're crying in the pieces laying right so it it doesn't make I mean the trash mode doesn't make sense to me right now for this particular vocals but uh, you get the idea so um, that's the distort and then we have the width so the stereo width we can go uh, you know from mono uh, from mono to stereo to f I mean full um, width and broken on the floor but you put them back together every time before all right so that's what we have on the assistant view and if if from any reason you want to recalculate relearn and you just click this relearn and it will go again uh, why sh you know you would want to do that so uh for example if you play the audio in one part of the uh, of your tracks and it didn't really uh, get <laughs> the right uh, program i mean it, it just didn't get it 
you can you know find maybe a better place to analyze and start again so now um, what we also have is this um, mothership view detailed view and we can see what the assistant actually did so wh what did we come up with after running the assistant and so um, before we get into that if you have any questions on this assistant view let me know in the in the chat and before we uh, continue of course uh, if you're new to my channel check it out see if you uh, if you find something interesting I have more than 500 uh, videos on uh, plugins virtual instruments and uh, so you know just browse if there's anything you're you're interested in sound design examples I have lots of stuff with uh, pigments uh, from Arturia and tons of stuff from native instruments so uh, check it out and uh, um, so if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. And if uh, if there's anything you know with this sound here, again, let me know so I can get things uh, the right level. All right. So um, now we're going to the detailed view, and we have sculptor and this uh, uh, this is sort of uh, again th this is the tone matching the uh, the pre EQ the assistant pre EQ that talks with the assistant so uh, that's what I understand and we have the the levels here now let me just check something if that's 100% and we'll go into the assistant no it doesn't change this tone match we're 100% going here going 100 percent 100 percent we'll go to zero we are in on zero All right so these two modules are talking one with another so i'm gonna go 100 percent going into the assistant it's still zero i don't know if that's <laughs> i mean i don't know if it's that a, a, a bug or not 70 uh, point 0.8 uh, 70 71 so it, it rounds it up so I am guessing there's a few glitches but anyway that's uh, that's a tone match and then we have the sculpt sculptor that talks with it so let's play the audio and see what we've g what, what we actually have I know it's like your world is just caved in and every single prayer just wasted But baby, there is beauty in the making So No, don't go up Right, so that's the, that's the idea here And then uh, we have uh, also the programs again We have the instruments, targets that, That's what it's called now, remember, this is, it's the targets and hey jason thanks for popping uh in for a uh, for a few minutes uh let me know if you want a private session one-on-one -on, -one on this one i'll be happy to do so and um, i'll see you around catch you later so uh, uh that's the the vocals right now it's already selected but you can see that we can match this to anything else we have target uh programs so that's that, and I can uh, solo this, I guess, in some way. No, it doesn't let me solo. And so moving on to the EQ. So that's the EQ curve that was selected, but I can definitely tweak that even further. That won't go. You're crying in pieces. All right, so we can add we can add a, a low pass and uh, or high pass or whatever. So this this will be high pass, uh, resonant. We can add a little bit of a boost here if we like. Laying broken on the floor, but you put them back together every time before. I know. And as you can see, as you can see. This is a dynamic EQ, meaning 
uh, you you see the bounces here so let, let's select something so you can see that we have the dynamic we have threshold right we have the threshold to respond to the oh, signal it's like your world is just caved in and every single prayer just wasted but baby there is beauty and this can help a lot to uh, tame those uh, uh, very prominent some you know some frequencies that pound hard that, that goes too hard and sometimes you can use this uh, as a deesser like a smart deesser things like that so that that's pretty nice and then we have two compressors running one after the other and one of the things that you 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 should uh, now note is that we have a new type the punch so you can see that we have this punch uh, compressor and it has uh, it has its amount we have makeup gain we have attack and and the sustain this is really uh, what we see also in the assistant mode here that's the punch let's go all the way up and see if it don't no, it doesn't they, they don't communicate much um, anyway you can change that to the modern or the vintage um, or the uh, modern or the vintage compressors and this will be a, a release time I mean uh, just auto release if you want to set it and then we have the makeup gain we have the mix amount In the making, so. no don't go up. I won't go You're crying in the pieces. Now, what you need to do is basically get the threshold where you want to have the uh, compressor to start kicking in. So that's the threshold. And so as I go uh, with this down, you'll see that we are compressing more and more. Laying broken on the floor. And you can see that here. But you put them back together every time before. Right, so we're setting this up and this is a multi-band compressor meaning we can uh, just have uh, more bands you can just click here and now we have three bands I know it's like now one of the things that uh, again this is why you're using neutron because you need a little bit of help and guidance from this uh, artificial intelligence ai engine and you can click this learn is just caved in and every single prayer just wasted but baby there is beauty in the making so no don't go up e. girl you're making it much harder than it has to oh. right so different bands different areas of the frequency range will need different thresholds so if you're using just one compressor on everything uh, or one band then you're listening your, your compressor is listening to the hardest uh, signal or the, the hardest uh, part and if your low end or your high end or maybe so something else is, is more um, out there then uh, everything will be compressed that much and so it makes sense to use the multiband compressor i'm not going into the usage of a uh, multiband compressor uh, you know in details but that's the idea but uh, something that you need to note is that we have uh, the the three types of the three types of compressors but when you select any of them it will go to all the bands all the different uh, frequency ranges and we have another view, this view here, and this one is the oscilloscope uh, view. And we can also uh, 
just uh, have a different detection modes when when we're using this filter we can uh, set this in different places because maybe for vocals we don't need to detect the low end we don't want the compressor to react to the low end so that's uh, what we have in this place here and so uh, again if you have any questions let me know i'm just jumping here very spontaneously on a live stream for the neutron 4 release and so i uh, hope you're enjoying this um, then we have another compressor and the exciter so the exciter will add, add some some grit and some uh, some very slight distortion or overdrive to the signal to make it uh, a little bit more um, kind of organic and again this is a multi-band so we can add more and as you play the audio here you can uh, shape things even further but we also have and this is new to uh, to neutron 4 we have the tame uh, button here so we can intro introduce the the dynamics back when you're distorting stuff you're basically compressing the hell out of the the signal and then if you want to have the sound more natural organic and uh, so you maybe want to introduce back some of those dynamics so that's the idea here and again we have the two modes we have the classic and the trash and let's listen to that I'm thinking there might be a little bit of glitches here. I'm trying to select the classic, doesn't work. Maybe it's something with my system. Hopefully I'm not crushing everything uh, very soon. That already happened to me uh, once before when I tested new stuff. So uh, that's, uh, that's the exciter. And you can definitely add some more stuff like the transient shaper which I don't really need here. So what I'm, I'm uh, suggesting is let's uh, let's see how the unmask work that will be fun so um, let's see how that works and I'm going to remove this neutron from here and I, I have some groups so we have the vocal groups here let's add neutron 4 and get started from from here and I'm gonna also get neutron 4 on the back vocals right so that's that and i'm going to uh, start that one and we let it work Right, so we have a uh, neutron detected and worked on our main vocal. Now let's let's see how things with the um, with the back vocal. So I'm gonna find me a nice place. Let's let's concentrate on this part. Nobody, nobody, nobody's gonna love you. Nobody, nobody, nobody's gonna love you. Cause somebody, somebody, somebody love you gonna love you oh, oh, oh. somebody somebody somebody's gonna oh, oh. love you somebody 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 right so we have this part and i have the back vocals here and again if you're just joining i'm checking out this is uh, maybe uh, second time i'm using neutron and this is neutron 4 so i'm learning as we go though i did uh, watch a few videos and did my homework so what i want to show you guys is the unmasking so the idea is that we can send one channel one one track into another and then unmask so we'll get uh, uncover uh, you know frequencies and let some other frequencies shine through so uh, 
let's see how that works so um, hopefully I'll get it right <coughs> so I'm going to send the uh, I'm gonna put the back vocals here on a side chain and I'm using Cubase obviously you can do this uh, uh, anywhere so these, these are the back vocals it's gonna be in a uh, side chained and I'm going into the sends and we're going to send this over here so I'm sending hopefully I, I got it right and not um, and not the other way around so I, I have the unmask here and now let's see how it works that nobody nobody nobody's gonna love you nobody nobody nobody's gonna love you because somebody somebody somebody's gonna so when I'm on zero on the back vocals I'm uh, basically uh, letting letting the back vocals I mean do their thing and I I can hear the the lead vocal but it's uh, it's buried under so uh, when I go all the way I'm actually not hearing very much of the back vocals love you gonna love you oh, oh. Nobody, nobody, nobody's gonna love you Right, and you can see how the unmask is making room for the uh, for the lead vocals, and that's how it works basically in a, in a nutshell. So again, if you have any questions, let me know. And that's uh, that's that. So what what we can do is let's try neutron on the drum track. So again, it's all very wide things. I'm not going into individual. Um, instruments right now so let's let's get this here neutron and gonna go somewhere here Right, and you can see that we, uh, I mean, the detection is not accurate 100% because uh, this is a sort of a trap beat and uh, so the kick is very out there. We, I mean, if I would select anything else, let's try some other parts. Maybe it will detect the drums as a drum, uh, just as a drum um, track, but let's do it again. Alright, so again, the, the drums didn't match. I mean, when I played with that uh, earlier, it was actually very good. It did, uh, did detect very nicely. We can again try, and that's fine because we have different parts, and that, that particular uh, drum beat is not that great anyway. But if you want, you can always go and select drums and let it play. And then tweak things. So I have a question here from the chat uh, from uh, Brian Ines. Uh, hey Brian, thanks uh, thanks for joining. Let me check that for you. So the question is, um, um, hey, I thought I saw somewhere use of mid-side EQ mode with uh, Neutron. 
So mid side mode on the EQ. So let's go into the EQ and see exactly what kind of things we have. So first of all, just by the way, we have the masking here. And as you can see, um, it already detected the other neutron instances and they communicate. So that's something that you should explore and see how how you can use Neutron as a system when you're mixing a complete song, not just on one track or something like that. You, they, they communicate and that's, I think, much better. So now, when we're talking about mid-side, so uh, let me check things here and I'll let you know because um, I really don't know. So let's see what we've got. We, we have side chaining uh, for each of those bands. Um, there should be something. Let's see. So that's no panning. That sounds the left and right. Maybe it's somewhere here. Yeah, and we have the piano roll on the bottom. That's nice. Um, let's see what else we have. Maybe there are some uh, presets. And by the way, each of those, each of those modules will have their own set of uh, presets. So it's pretty cool, and you can save your own. Um, I must be missing something. We can get all kinds of uh, different uh, different uh, presets. Maybe something for drums. Yeah, no idea. I have no idea. So I'm gonna check it out and uh, and let you and let you know. That's a, that's a very good question. I'm actually very surprised it's not uh, out there just in front of us. Um, let's see what we have. This is the limiter. Learn. So I have to admit, I have no idea where is the mid side and I would definitely go <laughs> and look for the user manual and check it out. Let's see. You know what? That's really interesting stuff. Let's see if we can get, can get a little bit of help here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not embarrassed to use the user manual. Turn side. We have side chain. Um, but I don't see mid side stuff. Well, if they do have mid side, they they manage to uh, hide it very very well. I I'll have to get back to you. Really appreciate if you are uh, good with that to join my Discord server. So I have a Discord server where you can join and chat with me and other people. 
that love uh, plugins and music and uh, that's a really great place to be so I'm gonna invite you guys let's copy that and I'm gonna put that in the chat and and just uh, ask that question there and I'm gonna get you the answers right from the source I'm just gonna go and talk with the guys in isotope and gonna get you that answer um, other than that you guys are uh, most welcome to um, and that's uh, uh, I mean you don't have to that's a request if you're planning to buy or upgrade or whatever uh, please you know consider using my link here in uh, you know through plugin uh, boutique because I'm uh, I'm getting a little bit of commission that's uh, not gonna change the price for you it's gonna make me um, a happy man but uh, that's uh, one way to support the channel another way to support the channel would be uh, to hit the uh, super chat uh, below the chat there's a, a way for you to uh, to sort of tip and or if you uh, uh, you know if you want to support the channel in easy way that would be just to watch the videos and comment and like and be a subscriber get in touch with me ask questions or I, I have uh, my connection with with all the major companies and some of the small companies so uh, usually if uh, if you have any question I, I can get you the answers uh, I read the user manuals so I, I you know I can check things for you and if you uh, really into supporting the channel so um, below any of my uh, videos you'll see um, something very very cool let me show you um, that would be join so when you click this join you're uh, joining uh, the channel membership channel membership and means that you're uh, uh, basically um, pay a monthly something and that donates into me uh, creating more content and you get discounts you get special codes you get uh, uh, to talk with me and we do one-on-one -on -one sessions on pretty much anything you like and um, so uh, that's uh, that's really cool stuff and uh, yeah so that that's pretty much it so guys if you have more questions let me know I just published um, a video showing uh, again showing uh, neutron 4 I'm going to explore it more in the next few days so if you have any anything you would like to know before you buy um, I'd be I'll be happy to answer again in my discord server it's really easy or just leave comments and that's uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to do now on top of that if you didn't really know there's uh, uh, there's uh, n right now promotion for native instruments which as you might know or not know it's the same company so it's sound wide uh, both isotope and uh, and the native instruments are the same company right now so uh, just uh, uh, just a reminder that we have the summer of sound and if you need information about uh, libraries about uh, about um, complete about all the different things that the native instruments offer check my channel because I have tons of reviews and, and deep dives on the tutorials and there's also the community tab so in my channel there's a community tab that's I'm gonna put the link in uh, right here and you can uh, just um, see my posts and you can see that there's uh, the summer uh, summer sale and uh, at the end of the month so that's also gonna be here in the chat um, so maybe we'll do a live stream let me know th do you guys want to see a live stream on uh, complete because uh, I can actually show you a lot of stuff let me just save this one and project da -da -da -dum. yeah seems like there was some kind of a crash in the middle who knows and I wanted to show you something real quick um, yeah let's uh, let's do this 
let me know in the in the comments in the community tab if you would like to see uh, a live stream on complete and i'll be happy to do so so that's it for now thanks bye bye and i'll see you guys in the next videos